Insulin. Insulin is a hormone naturally produced in the pancreas to transport glucose from the bloodstream into the cells for energy and decrease serum glucose level. Synthetic insulin is given to those with insufficient insulin production, such as in type I diabetes mellitus, and also to those with type 2 diabetes whose blood glucose level is not adequately controlled with oral anti-diabetic agents. Please see my separate video on oral anti-diabetic agents. Types of insulin. There are four different types of insulin based on their onset, peak, and duration. The onset of a medication, insulin in this case, refers to how long it takes for the medication to start working. Peak means the time at which the insulin is at its maximum action, and this is the time you want to monitor for hypoglycemia or low blood glucose, and duration is the total amount of time it remains in effect in the body. Rapid-acting insulin such as Lispro and Aspart have the fastest onset and peak time. Once given, it starts to work in 15 minutes and reaches its maximum effect in one hour, and it lasts in the body for three hours. It is given right before eating so make sure the meal is ready or will be ready within 15 minutes before giving it to prevent hypoglycemia. The next type is short-acting insulin, such as regular insulin. It starts to work in about 30 minutes and peaks in two hours and lasts for eight hours. It is also given before meals. It is the only insulin that can be given intravenously. All other types are given as subcutaneous injections. Intermediate acting insulin, such as NPH, has an onset of two hours and a peak time at six hours and lasts for 16 hours. It is the only insulin that is cloudy in appearance due to an ingredient called protamine, which makes it last for a long time in the body. It is given once or twice a day. The last type is long-acting insulin, which includes glargine and didamir. As the name suggests, it is long-acting and therefore does not have a peak time. It starts to take effect in 3 to 4 hours and lasts for up to 24 hours. It is given once a day to maintain a steady control of blood glucose. Long-acting insulin cannot be mixed with other types of insulins. Here is what you need to memorize for the NCLEX. Know the generic names of each type of the insulin. Know the onset and peak time. For rapid-acting or the fastest-acting insulin, always make sure patients will have their meals within the next 15 minutes before giving. Short-acting is the only insulin that can be given IV. Intermediate acting is the cloudy insulin and never mix long-acting insulin.